Who is the most courageous person that you know? What makes you think of that person? It seems like the people who usually come to mind are those who are willing to take big risks to make life better for someone else. Jesus is, of course, the best example. He risked more than we can imagine when he left his home in heaven to live with us, to teach us, to heal us, and even to die for us. Why? Because he loves us so much, he wants us to enjoy an abundant, eternal life. When we accept that life, Jesus invites us to follow him back into a world that desperately needs his love and his gift of eternal life. Through the Holy Spirit, he gives us the same courage so that we can share our lives with others to teach them, heal them, and to serve them in his name. Are you ready to accept this call? The best place to start is on your knees. You and God, along with the Word. You and God with others. Ask Him what His mission is for you. Ask Him to guide you as you look for opportunities to serve. Start at home. Practice an attitude of service and humility with your family, friends, and co-workers. Check on your neighbors. Find out what their needs are in your community and how you can be involved. Join your church or school in community service projects. These are excellent places for courageous missions. However, many of you have already done this, but you are ready for a little bit more. If you talk to someone who has served as a volunteer missionary, they will be the first to admit it is a sacrifice. It is not easy to leave home and risk safety and even a secure future. But they will also tell you that what God gives in return is so much more. You may also notice that many student missionaries return home with eyes and hearts even more open to the needs in their communities, ready and motivated to make a difference. If you're a student at an Adventist university, contact your campus ministries and they will help you on this journey. They'll help you to explore different options to help prepare you to serve. If you are a student at a public university or have graduated, or maybe you're not in school right now, you still are in good hands. There's a ministry at the North American Division that exists to help serve you. The Office of Volunteer Ministries. You can find the steps for the application process and how to contact the staff and more information at he said go org. So where can you serve? There's a great list of long-term volunteer mission opportunities posted through Adventist Volunteer Service. To find them, go to he said go org, long-term missions, and choose opportunities. We are currently processing applications for mission organizations all around the world, but we are carefully monitoring travel and health conditions, which may impact the timing and availability of many locations. Because of these current challenges, we are excited to give some extra love and attention to the islands of Guam Micronesia Mission, as well as the United States and Canada, all here in the territory of North American Division. With over 90 openings to help empower islanders through quality education in Guam Micronesia Mission, and around 60 openings supporting church ministries and outreach in the United States, there is plenty to do in our own backyard. Perhaps you're wondering about the cost the opportunities in the United States and Guam Micronesia Mission take care of accommodations, travel insurance, a living allowance to cover food and personal expense, and sometimes travel to and from the location. The main cost is usually the travel expense, if it is required. We encourage fundraising to cover this expense, and if you are not able to pay for it on your own, also, the Sami Gurulin Memorial Mission Fund can provide up to 1,500 reimbursement for travel expense for approved volunteers of Latino or Native American heritage. You can find out more on our website, hiseco.org. Most of these mission opportunities last for about a school year, so that's 9 to 12 months. Some of you might ask, why would I spend so much time in the mission field serving? Perhaps the best reason is that God works best through relationships. This is why Jesus spent 33 years on this earth instead of a few days or even a few weeks. When you allow God to use you 
and your time to develop intentional relationships in the role in which you serve, you're more likely to make a long-term impact. Also, it gives you time to experience and learn a little more about the culture and the community. Grow your relationships with God outside of your comfort zone and develop new skills and confidence in leadership. We pray that as you experience the love of Jesus and His transforming power over your life, that you will become more courageous than you ever thought you could be. That the same courage we saw in Jesus will inspire you to answer His call and to follow Him even to the ends of the earth.